Hi, welcome to this video guide. Today we are going to take a look at the Reports and Graph Center in Quicken for Windows. The Reports and Graph Center can be used as a one-stop shop for all available reporting options in Quicken. You can customize and save a wide array of different reports. This will provide a much more efficient and tailored experience. So open up Quicken and let's begin. To get to the Reports and Graph Center, you must navigate to the Reports menu and select the first option, which is Reports and Graph Center. Once you have the Reports and Graphs window open, you will see that you have two different sections, Quicken Standard Reports and My Save Reports. Let's take a look at Standard Reports first. There are different report categories. These range from banking to investment to tax. And if you expand each report category, you will see that you have even more specific options. Let's take a look at an example, like this banking summary report. I have the option to specify my date range, I can customize the report, and I can simply show the report with the default customization. You will also have these same options in all of these Quicken reports. Now that you've found the report that you need, it's time to customize the report. I'm going to use this banking summary report as an example. You immediately have the option of customizing the report or showing the report. I would recommend showing the report first. This will help you better determine what customizations you need and also gives you an insight at what the report looks like in the default state. You may find that the default is just what you need. So let's click on Show Reports and Quicken will generate that report. Right off the bat, you can see that you can select the specific date range if you have it already and change the columns displayed. I want my columns divided by month, so let me change that. Remember to choose the option that best suits your needs. I can also see that there's some accounts I don't want in this report, so let me show you how to customize it. Click on the Customize button on the top right of the report. A small window will appear with all our available options. Like in the previous screen, you have the ability to specify the date range and columns, along with other options. You can also add a custom name to your report. Let's take a look at the Accounts tab. If you want to exclude or include any of the accounts from this report, you are able to make those selections here. I want to exclude some of the accounts from mine, so I'll go ahead and uncheck those. Let's move over to Categories. Same concept, you can exclude categories from your report by deselecting them and vice versa. You can also have Quicken match a single payee, memo, or category, without having to go through the hassle of deselecting all categories but one. Let's take a look at payees. Just like accounts and categories, you can exclude or include desired payees from your report, and like before, you also have the ability to match to a single payee. The Advanced tab gives a couple of other miscellaneous options that will help you fine tune your report even further. Make sure to check or uncheck these options as needed for your custom report. Once you are done customizing the report, click OK. Let's take a look at Saved Reports. When you run a report and customize it, you have the option to save that report so that you don't have to go through the hassle of customizing a certain report every time you need it. On my screen, I have a banking summary report. I already customized the categories and accounts I want to track on this report. When I click on the save icon, I have the option of naming my custom report along with other descriptions. I'm going to call it example. Once you save it, you'll see that this report is now on the list along with other of the saved reports. When I simply want to rerun this report again, I can easily access it from this list. When you click on Manage Saved Reports, you will have the options to create a folder, move a folder, rename a folder, edit the name of folders or reports, or to delete them as well. Creating folders will help you keep your reports more organized and easier to find. For example, you may have the same report customized two different ways. Let's say one with personal accounts and one with business accounts. Saving them to their respective folder is one way of ensuring that you are running the correct customized report each time. 
This was a quick overview of the Reports and Graphs Center. Thanks for watching.